All right, let me just talk to the boys, and uh, then we can go. Will gave up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. Sacrifices must be made, after all. Yeah, I don't really like Especially it. Especially if the old Duke's fall means his rise. Which it could, but I've been deliberately not saying that. I, I, th I would think Asterion wouldn't mind that at all, yeah. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. It's one thing to make such a sacrifice in the pursuit of such a pack, but to do so in order to escape one. Truly, it leaves you with nothing. That's a good point, right? Like, really. Like, the, uh... One thing to sacrifice your soul to save people, but to get people killed is another thing entirely. I don't know. I think... I would like to think we could do it ourselves. But if we're not going to be given that choice by the game, that's not my fault, necessarily. You know what I mean? Let's go. A private word would be nice. What, All set? What is she trying to do? Uh, do you like my outfit? Ready when you are. I'm buying, all right? Let it be said, let it be written, let it be done. OK, I got you. Give me a beat to run ahead. I want to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. I hope this is not her being, um... Oh my gosh, my character. Oh, oh it's so cute. It's like, I hope this isn't her being ornified, but I can't... I can't worry about that all the time. Hi. Hi. You made of it. Of course I did. You look nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So do you. Thank you. It's our first date! Oh my gosh! Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll She's have? She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. I can't handle how beautiful she is. Um. The grilled growth ribs sound good. Just what I had in mind. Oh my goodness. Huh? Tender hunk? Two of the roast ribs, please. And two glasses of... Mm. Let's do wine. Maybe a little fancy. Yeah. And two glasses of wine. <laughs> His name is Tender Hunk, just so we all are clear. So... You're an adventurer, right? <gasps> How's that going? Okay, we're pretending we don't know much about each other. More difficult than expected. The baddies around here are very bad. Ah, uh, bad-ish. <laughs> Not trying to one-up the local villains, of course, but man, have I seen some shit. Nah. But hang on, this isn't first date talk. Tonight, I'm a mystery to you, and you're a mystery to mm -hmm. me. Okay. I like this. I like this. This is fun. That would be actually a fun activity to do. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure I can pretend I don't already love you. It's all I can do to keep my hands to myself anyway. We're terrible at this. But it'd be fun. I just wanted to be romantic about it. Speak for yourself. I'm being very good indeed. <laughs> Show me your way. <laughs> mm, okay. Um, so we we already know she grew up here, but um, we'll ask her where she grew up. Right here in Baldur's Gate, more or less. My folks are long gone now, but they raised me in the outer city. Dad was a porter in town. Mum did laundry. Still think of her when I smell clean sheets. We were poorer than dirt, but my gods, we had fun. What about you? That's really sweet. Um, I, sure, I mean, I can say I grew up in the Underdark, and then was, I think at one point I was kind of thinking I might have grown up in the Underdark, and then got pulled up to the surface of my family. That explains your grit. And your strength, and so many other things I love about you. Oh. oh, 
Oh, hey. Here comes our food. <laughs> Those look like empty plates to me. Uh, hey, uh, Hank? Oh, it's I think Hank. We the... It's a bleeder. These are, this is the seafood? Worst guy I ever met. Anyway, how about a toast? Oh, <laughs> Not my good curdle. Uh, no, we can use my glass. <laughs> to us. May we live every day like it's our last. That's a good way to go, I think. Good way to, good way to, to see it. My frames were kind of dropping there for a second. Ah, uh, that would be a tragedy to miss that. You never know when your last will come. We are so cute! I literally can't take it! Okay, I'm so glad we did this because I really did want to like have a fun night with her. Oh, that was great! The food and the company. Hmm. Uh, what do you want to do now? <laughs> You know what I want to do. Yay! <laughs> I know I can't stay forever. No! Here with you. No. In fact, I feel like... Like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much. And the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified. Hopeless. Like giving up. But to be here... With you... In the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. Oh my gosh. I love you. And I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. Yes, we can, together. Come on. There's something I want to show you upstairs. I, I want to save her so bad. I'll happily head upstairs with you. I want to make sure I'm clear about not wanting to sleep together. That is such a weird thing to get to this point and be like, just kidding, I don't want to sleep with you. After you. Hope you like it. Me too! Oh, I thought you we were still downstairs for a second. I was like, that's weird because she was sitting. This is cute. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. She's blue. I love that. Oh my gosh, we're gonna burn the house down. Like actually. Is this gonna be super tragic? I never know what to say. I know they say this all the time, but like, what do you say during that scene? It's like, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go away now for a minute. But um, two achievements, by the way, in one, one was it one episode? Yeah, no, two. Well, I don't know, maybe two. <laughs> but uh, anyway, now I feel like I'm setting myself up for tragedy because I keep forgetting that she's like destined to die because her soul is going to explode or her, her chest essentially but i am going to take her with me to the hells if she'll go i guess i can't i can't make her do it i mean i can make her do things but i'm not going to and i think that might break my heart in the end is also i think it still has me in my other armor by the way the catherick armor in the picture but um yeah i feel like it's if i let her choose right 
which I desperately want to do as a person, she's going, she's going to die, and she's going to die terribly. And do, do you become that person who makes their lover hate them, you know? Because you're like, I want to save you, even if you hate me? But how selfish is that, right? In some ways, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just making a bunch of bad decisions in this game. Will's dad. Shadowheart. I feel like Asterion's decision's gonna go bad. I don't know. YouTube also keeps trying to show me spoilers, and anytime I see anything Baldur's Gate on my feed, I just say, not interested, not interested, not interested. Because there have been attempts to spoil me for certain things, and I, uh, luckily, I just, like, I'll, like, glance and be like, eh, and I'm very forgetful, so, like, honest, like, truly honestly, I just, I, I, like, wipe it out of my brain, but, um, anyway, I'll trade back with Asterion now. Up and up. I do love this outfit though, and I wish I could keep it for myself, but I don't know. The Ash Meadow outfit is kind of similar. Uh, it's alright. I like the black and white, honestly. I like the puffier shirt rather than this. I wonder, well, I wonder if. Okay, hang on. I wonder if Asterion would look good in the Ash Meadow outfit, if... If I could trade him clothes. <laughs> Maybe we can keep the trade for a little bit. He doesn't look bad in this. I don't know if this is exactly what he'd wear, but it's apparently a very... It's apparently a nice outfit. Not like the nicest, but it is nice. It does feel a little bit like a crime to, uh, to take his, um have him not wearing this outfit he's like uh what do you call it he's like quintessential outfit he's like the one that he's like known for you know i feel like out of everybody his is the one that's most tied to him as a person like visually i'm not saying it right but yeah i like this outfit so i'm going to wear it now <laughs> ah, it's mine now oh but dang it i am over encumbered by stuff Well, I think I'm good then. I guess we'll go talk to everybody. Will Halson, Carlac, and it's just those two. The stair, right? <laughs> I feel really bad if I'm missing somebody. Halson? Are we having a conversation with Halson? I thought I was going with my brain, my mind flayer person. Yeah, okay, I'm with the mind flayer person. The emperor. They say that home is where a person can be their truest self. Excuse me? Without God. Without protection. Are we, what? Why are you shirtless? You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. Okay. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. Um, we spoke I, of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman. I... A story I have told. No one I think knows. he's beating me over the head with all I of this. I have no more secrets from you. You know what I mean? No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Yeah, I feel like you are really beating me over the head with this. It's like, oh, look. I've opened up to you. Now we're comrades. We're allies, maybe more, since I'm sitting here shirtless. And I'm like, listen, the skinny veiny look is not necessarily my thing. Also, I just had a lovely night <laughs> with my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, 
bad things. I'm not sure I feel about being your ally. You wouldn't have even come this far without me. Oh, now we're making... So, as I see it, you don't have a choice. Oh, okay. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. That is the way that mind flayers work. And uh, so I can't necessarily fault him for that, especially if he's not. I guess this could just be a weird thing to try to like get me close to like get close to the elder brain to free it. But that seems a bit much. What did you learn? That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. Oh my God. shoes sometimes I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. is that are you trying to seduce me after I've already been seduced tonight oh my gosh do I <laughs> is this um what is it e emotional cheating or whatever <laughs> See, honestly, this is like for this character. I don't think it's gonna work, but it it almost feels insidious now. Ever since I kind of started to get the hint that he could be manipulating me, you know. You're trying to flirt with me now. Would you like that? <laughs> oh, as much as my heart kind of desires it, I this character does. I don't think this is what this would not be her thing. I think there's something holding her back a little bit. Oh, like and I kind of felt it. Like and I kind of explained it at one point. Where it's like, she's doing a lot of what the Mind Flayer says, but there's still a part of her that she's holding back. She kept the book about Mind Flayer, like, not seduction techniques, but a manipulation techniques, right? And she tried to keep things a secret from him with the Githyanki, you know? So I feel like, and we're not doing the Astral Tide pull despite believing him that we shouldn't free Orpheus, you know? So I think... As much as it would be interesting to see, honestly, it would be really interesting, and I kind of want to like share it just for like the YouTubes, but like, like just just for the uh, for the for the content, I guess. I don't know. Oh, my character would not do it, but one day maybe I'll uh, I'll show you guys some tidbits from my necromancer playthrough that I'm doing. I'd rather we stick to business. Good instinct. Woo! The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. You have seen what an elithid can do. And I've seen what I can do. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> some of that could be in your grasp. Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. 
it. And see, I keep, I keep holding back on this. And believe me, it will radically increase our chances of success against the Elder Brain. Think on it. As you drift into sleep, you feel a certain disappointment. Uh-huh. The Mind Flare was very quick to abandon its attentions on you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, okay, I feel justified. I feel justified for my recalcitrance. <sighs> yeah, and they said good instinct, which is an interesting way to put that. It's like, would you like it if I was flirting with you? And it's like, I'm like, nah, I'd rather stick to business. And he was like, good. And it's like, I think it's almost, it feels almost like a recognition of me, like, holding back, right? Well. That does make me feel, I do, I think this guy's manipulating me. I really, really do. I'm, I'm getting more and more, maybe more and more, like, this is kind of pushing me towards wanting to free Orpheus, honestly. I had hoped there might be a greater sense of balance within the city. That its walls might enable sheltering within it to foster community, peace. Yet it is not so. We've already had this discussion. Unnatural steel beings patrol the streets. Oh, he's still mad, though. The printed word sows discontent, and those in need are treated with disdain. Is this truly what progress looks like? He's having a hard time. Sometimes it is difficult to see exactly what we are fighting to save here. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like Korga was right. Nature can only survive away from all this. I don't think you truly feel that way. You've always believed in balance. I do. But at times like this, it can feel like an impossible dream. I was harsh on myself before. On my leadership of the Grove. The decisions I made. Perhaps too harsh, considering this place. Oh, are we gonna have a Halston-like evil arc? Mm, I don't want that. I don't, I don't need both of you to, like, do... Oh my gosh, oh, I'm very unhappy. Halston was supposed to be, like, the least problematic one out of everybody. The one least likely to cause troubles, kind of, is, uh, is what I was hoping for. Not trouble, I don't know, to cause heartache? I don't know, but I don't blame him. Like, you stick a druid in the middle of the city, he's gonna have a hard time, you know? And it does seem like it's really difficult to maintain a balance in the city with nature. But if you look at the big picture, you could potentially balance nature and city, but trying to achieve a balance within the city, you know, yeah. So that makes me very worried that he's talking about Kaga and her ideals as potentially being the way to go. Also, yeah, why am I still, why am I still in that armor? I mean, it looks cool. I guess to be fair, I think everybody's is kind of, not exactly what they're currently wearing, I think. Anyway. Oh, wow. The look at freaking Carlac and I are like, oh, we're married. This looks so good. It's so good. Oh, boy. Anyway, I guess I'll stop rambling and go ahead and call it here. I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled with, with this look. Um, even if I can't sleep with the mind flare, which I am definitely now feeling better about. Because I think he really is just trying to manipulate me, which I do need. That means I need to rethink the Orpheus thing. Trouble. Oh, uh, trouble in Baldur's Town. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons.
First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.